All right, YouTube, so what I'm doing today is installing this wireless adapter. It's also a Bluetooth adapter. And I'm actually replacing a unit that's already on my computer because that is simply a Wi-Fi adapter. And I want something with Bluetooth so that I can use my Apple keyboard and touchpad on my Windows 10 unit, which I've been told it can do. So we're gonna try it out. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is disconnect the two antennas that are on the current card. If you don't have a card installed in your system currently, you would omit this step. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the screws that hold on this side panel here. There's one on the top, and there's one on the bottom. If they're a little too difficult for you to take off by hand, they do have a little Phillips head or flat bladed screwdriver um, indention on the back, so you can use a screwdriver if they're a little tight to remove them. They do have a screwdriver uh, indention on there for you to be able to use a screwdriver. Next, you simply slide the side cover towards the rear of the computer and it will pop out of place. Another thing is before working inside here, make sure you ground yourself out. You don't have any static electricity. It's like 100% humidity in Florida right now, so that's not really a concern for me, but in your location it might be. So make sure you ground yourself out before working on these components. The next step in the procedure would be if you're removing a card, you would find out where your card's at and remove the screw from that card. If you are not removing a card and you're putting it in a slot, you want to figure out which slot you want to put it in. You can see you've got different PCIe slots here on the computer. You would determine which one you're going to place it in based off the shape of the card that's going in. And then you would remove the metal piece that's there, opening up the slot for you to be able to place your unit in the computer. So if your new card comes with a cable, as this one does for power, I would recommend go ahead and plugging your cable in before inserting it into the computer. And make sure you're getting it in the right orientation before plugging it in. Very important. So once you've got that part plugged in, you're gonna line it up with your PCIe slot on your motherboard, and you're gonna slide it into place. And you'll see it pops right in when you've got it in the proper orientation. You're gonna take your screw and go ahead and secure your card in the slot. And this doesn't have to be super tight, it just has to be snug. And then the other end, is you're, what you're gonna do is find on your motherboard an open USB plug. And I've actually got one right here. One thing to note is notice on the plug which pin is blocked out because there is a pin that's missing in the upper left-hand side of the uh, USB plug. So you wanna make sure you line those two up make sure it's fully seated on your motherboard. Okay. And then the final step would be to install your antenna on the back. And that's very straightforward. You just thread them on. Now, once you have this fully installed and you put your side cover back on, you will need to install drivers. It does come with a driver disc, or at least this one did. And I do have a DVD drive, so I am able to pull the drivers off this disc. If you do not have a DVD drive, you would have to download the drivers before taking your other network card out or you would have to download them from a wired connection. But I have a DVD drive, so I'm good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace my cover and then power this thing up.